using the green marketing grid. A helpful way to understand green marketing is to separate it into three areas, green, greener, and greenest. Green describes traditional approaches applied to an offering which is greener than its competition. This does not mean greenwashing, a dangerous trick to play that jeopardizes the public's trust of your product. Done right, this marketing approach is an old-fashioned sales job based on facts. If green is part of your culture, the job is that much easier. Most people will find it easier to accept a green product from Toyota than from Ford. Greener marketing involves trying to get customers to integrate your product or service into everyday life. Your goal is to create a collaborative customer community, feedback opportunities and engaging events. In your planning, Consider both profit and social objectives. Greenest marketing lets you focus on culture shaping goals and normalize green innovation. Building communities is a new aspect of marketing that is particularly important to implementing lifestyle changes. For business models, this means working with your client base to shape your offering. Think of Amazon's customer reviews. These three marketing approaches require different activities in three areas of applied marketing public, social and personal. These spheres can help you clarify your goals. Customers are wary of old-style image branding, but the story behind your brand is still important. This is your company's public context. Identity is a concern in the social sphere. Consumers want to learn the truth about a company or a product without hype. Some offerings lend themselves more strongly to building a tribe following, that is, a fiercely loyal group of customers. The personal area of marketing deals with analyzing the benefits of your product to each individual consumer. Each broad marketing area has distinctive tactics and permutations, depending on the circumstances of your marketing challenge.